Akanu Biam International Airport is one of the five international airports in the country operated by the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria. The airport, located in Enugu State, southeast Nigeria, is one of the busiest in the southern parts of the country. Despite the impressive influx of air travelers through the facility, it still has not met the conditions for international standards. Some users are not pleased with the state of the airport facilities. An international airport has to have a state-of-the-art facility or state-of-the-art facilities. I won't say they don't have, and I won't say they have. It's just on the wall, okay? An international airport is massive in space, in width, and in length. This is not. This is not. Expand the airport, increase the strength of staff, then revamp the facilities. Maintenance. You see, our country has a challenge with maintenance. The maintenance culture of the airport is below average. You know, maintain the ones on ground, increase the ones supposed to increase, expand, extend it, and um, improve the strength of staff. I would like to see some improvements. One is getting the international section well completed. The overall outlay could be well improved to other standards we see as well. The ambience is okay, but you know, it doesn't look clean enough for an airport. You know, some maintenance work needs to be done. The problem I have with some of the services of the airline is delays, okay? Extreme delays, cancellations without, you know, caring about their customers. But, you know, that's the, what you expect in a third world environment. From the main street, you can't even know that you are going to the airport. There is no signboard. You understand? There is no signboard linking with uh, this is airport. So I think uh, nothing to show about it anyway. This is the response from the airport management. Passenger movement is on the increase. Uh, the Christmas season, for example, can attest to it. The Christmas of 2017, Ethiopian Airlines had to bring a 400-seater aircraft to be able to evacuate people out of Enugu, even after they came in. So, and after that, as is usual, by this time you should have had a drop. Instead, each aircraft, as you can see, this airpiece now might have up to 100 passengers. Two days ago, they had 110 passengers on board. They didn't bring in any luggage. And that would have caused the problem. But the passengers got the explanation that once you have too many passengers, too much of fuel, you, the aircraft is designed to carry a specific load. You can't over, uh, overburden the aircraft. So uh, they had to come in with those 110 at a time. So these days, we've been having full load every time. By the time it's Easter, you will still have more people coming in and going out. I think the reason is that the place is better and better. The runway surface, for instance, had suffered some problems because of water that was seeping under the pavement. You know, because of the kind of uh, topography and geography and geology of Enugu. You can have water table high, but you won't dig and get water beyond 30 feet here. You can get coal instead. So that's why we have not been able to get uh, portable water in sufficient quantity in the airport. And we are thinking of damming the Ekulu River that's about 3,000 meters away or 3 kilometers away from the runway. So that's the only way we can get sufficient water supply. We had issues with electrical fittings, for instance, the cooling systems cannot all work because the wires, we found out that the wires and cables they used for uh, installation were underrated. So we are changing them now to rate them higher so that they can carry all these air conditioners. Our flight stops here. Thanks for being a part of it. See you next week. I'm Bukola Joe Okitumbi.